Joining me now here on the MA Report is a man that we were supposed to see back on May the 20, or upcoming here at May 29th, the Bellator show there at Pachanga, Toby Mishek. Toby, man, appreciate it, Tom. Obviously, obviously a bummer. I, I, it, would that be about the best way to describe it, kind of, you know, when Jason House, your manager, calls you? Yeah, I, I was really looking forward to this fight. Um, you know, we were supposed to fight before, and once again, it got canceled between me and him. So, I mean, I was bummed. I, I was... I was looking to put on a good performance. I was training pretty hard for this one. Uh, you know, I guess, I mean, it, it sucks the fight has been postponed, but I, I guess if we're going to look at any positives out of it is it wasn't like, hey, you were supposed to fight in a week. It, it was well over, uh, you know, how almost, you know, two months notice on this one. Um, you know, is it for you? Do you just try to look at the pros of it and say, you know what, man, it sucks. You know, but I, I just got to try to look at the positives. Uh, yeah, actually, it... <clears throat> I mean, I, I love to fight, but in a way, it, it kind of played out perfect for me because being that the fight got canceled and all this is happening, um, it's like a blessing in disguise because now I get to spend more time with my daughters, yeah? Um, I They, they live on a, um, on a different island, and I get them on holidays or, you know, when they don't have school. So now that all this is going on, I get more time to spend with them. So it, it kind of worked out for me. How old are your daughters? They're three and four. Okay, so they haven't quite hit school age yet. Because uh, I know... Uh, yeah, you know, I, Yeah, I mean, my wife's yeah. uh, a, a kindergarten teacher, so you know, she's doing... Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, she's doing virtual learning. <clears throat> that's, that's how they're doing oh, it at her school. Um, you know, so it's, kind of, it's always interesting to kind of talk to fires who have children of kind of, you know... Because I, I think we always talk about how you, how you balance out your life, you know, yeah. of, you know... Everything that, you know, if we were in a quote unquote normal life, you're, you're trying to get your, your training in and obviously time with the family. I mean, is there, is there some activities that you've already planned to do with your daughters? Um, I try to look forward to it, but you know, living in Hilo, it's so hard to um, plan anything. It, it can be sunny one minute and then start pouring rain. So I would just go as a flow, but it, it, I don't know if it sucks for that because they become gym rats, but <laughs> Obviously, uh, you know, I, I was talking to Noah Dung uh, yesterday, and, and he was talking about how, you know, obviously it's changed for him. You know, just the, the abilities to get into gyms. What's what's it like for you? Uh, do you have access to a gym? Um, we have access to one gym, but not it's not training partners wise. Like me and my striking coach, uh, mm -hmm. training conditioning. But like for MMA wise, yeah, it's all shut down here. We would have to do it in a garage or something, but you know, everyone has a, a different way. This pandemic has affected them. You know, I, yeah. I, I, like for myself, I just think of like, I'm an outgoing type person. I'm, I'm not a homebody and you yeah. know, I like to go out. And so I, I think of like, man, I, I kind of took it for granted the ability to go out on a Friday night and, and hang with some friends. Is, is there something you have looked at in, in terms of kind of the last week or so to realize like, man, I, I maybe I did take that for granted. Um, not, not too much, not too much. Cause <laughs> honestly, my daily routine would be going work, coming home, spending time with my family and then just going to the gym. Nothing. We barely do anything anyway. Plus my fiance is pregnant. So there's not much we can do anyway. So it, it, yeah, not too much. How far along is she? Um, she, she were due in August. So I, I, cause I was talking to another fighter earlier this week. Um, and his, his wife <clears throat> is scheduled to go into labor this week. And I said, wow. I go, I go, man, what, what is that like? And he's like, man, it's, it's like a day in day out thing of whether, I'm going to be allowed to be there because of, you know, how many people they want in the hospital. I mean, ha have you and your fiance kind of talked about that of like, what if by the time, you know, August gets here that you're like, man, what if we're still kind of in this pandemic? Yeah. We, we've been trying to, we talk about it. We, we, it, it's kind of nerve wracking. Um, my, my good friend, striking coach, you know, he, he just had a baby. So, uh, um, it all worked out perfect for him. You know, he said there wasn't no hassles or anything. So, you know, we're just trying to stay positive. You know, and obviously, uh, you know, this is kind of a time, I think, for it seems like for fighters, you know, opportunities may come at any moment. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> Krause used the, used the line of, 
you know, this is a time to where you can level up in, in, in various aspects. I mean, what, as you, you know, it's a, it's a crappy situation. We all know it. But how do you kind of look at it in terms of how you can, you know, improve on, on who you are, you know, as a fighter by the time, you know, Bellator starts having fights again? Um, you know, just giving me more downtime to think about stuff and um, plan out what I got to do, what I got to fix. And, you know, um, and just keeping my weight down. Yeah, that's, that's about it. You know, I got more time to just focus on what I need to focus on. I mean, of course, you had that super impressive performance against Eric Perez. I mean, you walked that fight. You know, you were an underdog going into that fight. Everyone was picking Eric to win that fight, and you didn't take long, 54 seconds. I know we haven't talked, you know, since that fight, but uh, as you kind of think back at that fight, is there something that was it, it, was it in the opening 10 seconds of the fight that you just kind of felt like, man, what I've been working on is going to be there? Um, When I stepped on his foot, there's a – I don't know how how much into the fight, but I stepped on his foot, and from that moment I knew I I I had him. I knew his footwork was all off, and we just in the gym we just has been working hard on you know movements and our foot placements. <clears throat> Watching his fights, I knew he was he liked to stay heavy footed and show kind of wild bombs. But once I stepped on his foot, I I kind of knew I had him on the angles and the footwork. And I'm not. I, no, go ahead. I his, his I felt his hand speed too, and I could see it all coming. So I it kind of all played out. I just was, I wasn't expecting to stand as, I thought he was going to shoot right away. Obviously, I guess part of the story is is, is the way ins, and I'm not trying to to hammer you on it, but is, is it just are you move are you going to move up the 45 or is the plan? No, I'm a 35er. I you know I'm a. I don't know what happened, to be honest. That was the first time ever. I I, mean, I was cutting weight for like four hours, and I lost one pound. Oh, and I was like, oh, what is going on? Um, leading up to that weight, with the weight cut, everything was working, you know, was was on point. Um, I honestly think it was just the, the back-to-back weight cuts, and my body shut down. Uh, I was supposed to fight the ending of September, and then the fight got caught off the week of, which I was like almost on weight already because I had to fly to Ireland. So my weight was almost on weight. And then I took maybe a couple of days off and then I went right back to cutting. And I think my body just just, just shut down. But no, I'm, I'm sticking to 35. Is it, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of fighters have talked about this of like, you know, just because of maybe the, the, the lack of ability to get the good training you want in that maybe sometimes that food in the refrigerator becomes a little bit of a demon. Is it, have you found yourself yeah. like late at night going, Oh God, no, I can't, I can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our, our house is full of snacks right now being at my fiance is pregnant <laughs> And I got my all, all the kids here. Is it, <clears throat> I've been catching myself. Um, it, it, is there <laughs> is there like a go to like junk food item for you? Um, I, Snickers. Uh, I love Snickers. And recently, I've been I've been on um the sour the sour gummy worms. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I've been on that crave lately. <laughs> I, I'm a Reese's peanut butter cup kind of guy. That, that's my, that's like, we, we have this little jar in my house of, of you know, candy. It's always got Reese's yeah. in it. That's my, that's my go-to. I like the white chocolate one. I'm not the a white big chocolate. white chocolate guy. I'm not. Oh yeah? No. I, I, I've, like, I've had like the Hershey's white chocolate, but in terms of like the yeah. Reese's, no. No. What about the Snickers? You tried the white Snickers one? I've not, no. I've had, I'll eat a Snickers every once in a while. It was it was like limited the white chocolate and I don't know it, it was a big sale I guess and it, it, they stopped. <laughs> that was my favorite. Uh, we'll wrap up on this. I mean, obviously we we have. I mean, I know Bellator's got the the show planned in June. H- have they talked to you about when you know they would you know if everything kind of lines up or when they would like to get you back inside the cage? Um, when my manager told me the fight got you know canceled, I just asked him, um, uh, "We're trying to jump on the next card, right?" I want to fight and say yes for sure and you know, um with all this going on I really haven't been asking I didn't see any news or anything so I, I'm just waiting um I would hope I would hope so um I would actually like to fight bef- 
I would love to fight before August. Just just so that, you know, yeah. just in case she goes into labor or something. But, yeah, that, that's I, I would hope so. Oh, no doubt. Toby, man, as always, man, uh, appreciate your time. Have have some fun with the kids. And, of course, uh, let everyone know anything. Yeah. Follow you out on social media. And anybody else you want to shout out? Uh, for Instagram, Toby Too Quick 135 Facebook, just um, Toby Misek. And um, shout out you, you know, with all this craziness, still taking the time to do interviews, put us out there. Uh, my management, Iridium, um, you know, all my coaches, my fans, my supporters, 